Hi everybody, it's Tuesday, December 7th, 2021. We're going to be doing our card of the day, a focus of intention from one of my favorite decks, the Adinkra Ancestral Guidance Card by Simone Brezzi Ando. Um, Simone is no longer with us. She is the creator of the Adinkra Ancestral Guidance Card. She passed away earlier at the beginning of this year. She is now in the ancestral realm and we are truly grateful for her at this time. Um, just a reminder that next Monday on December 13, 2021 at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be doing a free webinar. That was quick. A free webinar called Spiritually Abundant. Let me grab these cards. And it is free. You can go to the website, thealmightypineapple.com. Once you tap in thealmightypineapple.com, it is the homepage and you can register for free. If you're not able to attend, it is going to be on a Zoom platform and you'll automatically get the recording as long as you register. Um, this is going to be a discussion on facing your past, talking about spell work, talking about protection work, talk about mindset, clearing, rewriting, and shifting things um, in your space energetically, but also physically as well. Please feel free to join us this Friday. Um, excuse me, not this Friday, this Saturday, December 11, 2021 at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the Dece December monthly reading. It is $20 per person. It is free for I Am The Altar members. You are not obligated to come members, but it is part of your membership. You should have already gotten the links, so make sure to check your spam and junk folders. And again, it's a place, to, usually people check me out during the monthly community reading before they invest in a 30 minute, 60 minute or unlimited reading or any of the other services that I provide, such as a dream intuitive analysis, analysis sessions, the root chakra healing guided meditations, the removing cords and cutting cords meditation, meeting a spirit guide, meeting an ancestor or meeting an animal guide, guided meditations, or also fire cleansing, which is a virtual cleansing, or it's also called a limpieza de fuego, which is where I work through your energy centers with the element of fire to purify, remove and shift your energy centers as well. If you have any questions on any of the services that I provide, please feel free to send an email to the contact page on almightypineapple.com. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing to this channel. Thank you for fucking with me. Thank you for supporting me. My books are open for the month of December, so get your end of year readings in now because I will be shortening my schedule towards the last week of December in preparation for the New Year's. With that being said, we already have the card of the day that already fell out from the Adinkra Ancestral Guidance card. This is not a reading. A reading is an intimate discussion between you and a spiritual advisor of your choice, hopefully led by your intuition. As I always say, your intuition is your superpower. Everyone's born with intuition. Not everyone listens to their intuition as you can see the state of the world. With that being said, um, thank you for sharing this video with someone who you feel needs it. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing my post. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for your donations. Thank you again for all the birthday love. Last night I popped on Instagram and I did card readings. Thank you for all the support and purchasing badges. Hopefully I'll be able to do that again a couple more times this week. I'm trying to be a little bit more accessible to the community. Um, I, last week I was not around. I was sick as well as my daughter. And the card of the day is called the Adinkra Heaney. And this is called the King of the Adinkra Symbols. This symbol represents leadership and charisma. And Adinkra Hemi says this. The philosophical significance, leadership and charisma. This symbol is reportedly the inspiration for the design of the other symbols. This card is asking you to step into a leadership position within your life your relationships, and your thoughts. Do not be afraid to step into your own power. You cannot hide from the hard work or the hard decisions that are needed to achieve success. You have the support of your ancestors, so go confidently. Additional meanings for this card, it's safe for you to be powerful. Take comfort in this. Assert yourself in a way that does not alienate. Go confidently. Feel the fear, but do it anyway. I love this card because this card is telling you to tap into the power of self, to tap into the power of your essence, tap into the power of your energy. And I know energy always get misconstrued like as a mindset, but it is a frequency or some of you may call it a vibration. And everything that you put into your energy, into your frequency, into that vibration 
can either shift in one direction or the other. It's neither right or wrong, good or bad, even though it may look like that from a human standpoint, from a three-dimensional realm, but the vibrations of frequency, the vibrations of this energy, the vibrations of truth and love and hope and money and sex and power and career and reputation and abundance and all the things that you're desiring in the human realm are temporary but very effective to make this temporary home amazing or devastating. The choice is yours. Spirit is asking you to step into a place of leadership within your life, your relationships. But the last part was sticking out for me, your thoughts. Many of us get caught in the analytical realm because this particular patriarchal society, because that's what it is as of this time, 2021, it is a fucking patriarchal society, is all about thinking is good and feelings are bad. We have been taught since childhood, since the moment we got into a school educational system to stop acting away, to stop feeling away, to blunt our emotions and then combine that with a family that doesn't healthily deal with emotions, our thoughts go 10 million different miles in a second. And because we're not having clear thoughts, because we don't know how to deal with our emotions, because no one's really taught us how to deal with our emotions or even learn how to love ourselves, our thoughts go into a chaotic whirlwind over and over and over again. Basically, it's the little hamster running on the wheel, not going anywhere, but going round and round and round. You have to step into your life in a leadership position. You are the author of your story. You are the only one that can change it. You are the only one that can explode or implode. You are the only one that can love or that can hate. And it's never been about making decisions that are right or wrong. It's always been about what can you learn. And if you're not learning, you're gonna keep repeating these same cycles like that hamster going on that wheel round and round until you get it or until you get tired and want to change. But again, no one can make you change. You have to want it. As I always say, what you want is human, but what you need is divine. And this is a human issue. Your thoughts are a human issue. Yes, it can affect your energy, your spirituality. Yes, it can affect all things. But remember, we are spiritual or energetic beings, however you align, whether it's spirituality or energetics, living in a human world, three-dimensional. Me, myself, and I, past, present, and future. It is time for you to walk into your power, even if it's in your own corner of your own world, even if it's for just you and your family, even if it's for your cubicle in the corporation, even if it's for your own independent entrepreneurial business, even if it's just your as a community leader in your neighborhood, whatever that is, you need to step into that power. And until you believe you have the power, nothing will change. This symbol is represents leadership and charisma. Are you charismatic to yourself? Are you allowing yourself to think? Are you allowing yourself to feel? Are you allowing yourself to learn from those thoughts and those feelings? Are you allowing yourself to combine your mind, body, and spirit to work cohesively together? Please feel free to welcome um, our new free webinar on Monday. I would love to see you, I would love to have you. But again, if you cannot make it, it is on a Zoom platform. Make sure you register, you'll get the recording after if you cannot attend. I hope to see you all there. I hope to work with you in the future. If you're wanting to work with me, please follow your intuition when working with any spiritual advisor, even that means you do not work with me. Your intuition will guide you to who, what, when, where, and how to work with those spiritual advisors and practitioners. I love y'all so fucking much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being with me. Have a great day.